Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day so far. Today, I wanna to talk to you about how to use LUTs and apply it to your footage. Let's get to it. All right guys, now I know this tutorial is geared towards beginners, but I'm not gonna go into the super basics like starting a new project or creating a new sequence. All right, let's jump into it. So after you've cut up your sequence and put all your video clips into the timeline below, you're gonna to wanna to go over here and click new adjustment layer and drag that in over on top of your footage. And you're gonna want this to cover the entire length of your clip or your sequence here. If you don't extend it to the end of the section of clips that you want to be color graded with a LUT, the whole thing won't be affected. So make sure that this end right here is dragged all the way to the end where your footage stops. Now, this is a little sequence I created a while back for a vlog I posted uh, maybe a couple months ago. It was from the day we hung out with JRLE. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple sequence. There's a couple little cuts, a few little speed ramps here and there, nothing crazy. But if you notice here, the footage has a little bit more of that flat look to it. So one of the LUTs I will be using is actually geared more towards the whole flat color profile, but the steps are the same for any kind of LUT you use on any type of footage. So once you've got your sequence laid out, once you have your adjustment layer in place, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you find the Lumetri color panel. Now I am in the color layout that Adobe Premiere has. So this layout is geared towards coloring your footage. So this automatically had the Lumetri color panel already off on the right hand side over here. So if you don't already see the Lumetri color panel, you can just go all the way up to window, scroll down to Lumetri color and make sure you click that so it's checked off. Once you're in the Lumetri color panel, all you have to do is under basic correction, go to input LUT and click where it says none and you can choose any one of the LUTs that are already preset in the program or you can browse for your own custom LUT. Now, if you click on browse, all you have to do is choose any LUT file that you previously downloaded. Once you click on it and hit OK, it'll automatically apply that LUT and show up on your footage. Since I already have a bunch of LUTs already installed, including some that I've created myself, I'm just gonna choose one from my list. So before you apply the LUT, you're gonna have to make sure that the adjustment layer is the active selected layer. If your actual footage layer is selected, it'll apply the LUT to that specific video file or clip. You don't want to do that because it'll make it a little bit harder to edit. Even if you want to do something like lower the intensity of the LUT look, it'll be a lot easier if it's applied to the adjustment layer. So make sure the adjustment layer is clicked, and then you can go on back on up to under basic correction, where it says input LUT, click none, and then select any of the LUTs that you'd like. I'm going to use my ADOT Priority signature look that I've created, and as you can see, it's now applied it to a video preview here. So as we scrub through and we play the footage, you'll notice the footage does look a little bit different than it did before. So what I like to do sometimes is I'll play back the footage and then see the little eye icon over here. So this will toggle that layer on and off. So if you turn that layer on and off, you'll notice the before and the after. So you can keep doing this to check out the difference once the LUT has been applied. Going back to what I said previously, the reason I applied it to the adjustment layer is because it does make it easier to make up the local adjustments. So let's say on this clip right here, we'll choose this one. The shadows are a little bit too dark. So I still wanna be able to adjust things like contrast, highlights, shadows, exposure, and it's much better to edit those things directly on your video clip. If you do it on the adjustment layer above, it'll impact the footage differently. But now that the LUT has been applied, if you had applied it directly to your footage, it might change the effects once you do change some of those settings. So now I wanna go in here and I want to open up my shadows a little bit. So I might play around with this a little bit, bring that open. So now we create a little more, a little more detail in the shadows here. But then I also feel like, you know what? This LUT is a little too intense. I kinda of wanna pull it back a little bit. I don't want it to be as color graded or have as much of the effect on it. So if you bring up the effects control, you go down to opacity. Now, as long as the adjustment layer is selected, you can just drag down this opacity a little bit and you'll notice the effect starts to fade off a little bit. So now when you toggle the adjustment layer on and off, you still notice that the LUT has been applied, but it's not as strong or intense. This comes in handy if you use a LUT that wasn't really created for the type of footage or color profile that you shot in. Let's say your footage was shot in a color profile that wasn't as flat, and you use a LUT that was geared towards a flat profile, 
you might notice your footage is like super punchy, super contrasty. So adjusting something like the intensity or the opacity of the LUT layer or of the LUT in the adjustment layer will really help that. So that in combination with still being able to make those little local adjustments to your video files will make a big difference. So now we'll play back the footage for you in full so you can see exactly how this footage looks, both color graded and uncolor graded. Alright guys, well I hope you found the tutorial useful, uh, hopefully it was pretty easy to follow along and now you know how to apply less to your footage. If you have any other questions at all whatsoever, please don't hesitate to comment down below and ask me anything you want. I'll try to do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can, because I know this is something that you guys ask about quite often. I get DMs all the time on Instagram, I get a lot of comments on my other videos, even our free LUT pack video we dropped a few months back. People are always asking, how do we use LUTs? What do we do with them? How do we make our footage look good like this? So we finally wanted to help out and give back to you guys. I know you can probably find a million other videos on YouTube on how to use LUTs and what they are and what they're for, but I figured it was time that we help you guys do this, right? Anyway, if you like this video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you're notified every time we drop new videos. There's lots more cool stuff coming your way, so stay tuned. As always, keep creating guys. Peace out.